Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. The lighting was too bright, so I had to close the blinds, so hopefully it's not overpowering anymore. But today I'm going to be doing an American Eagle jean haul. Um, I have been buying American Eagle jeans for like as long as I can remember. They're the only things that fit semi-right. And when they came out with the Kirby jeans, it was just like, <laughs> Yes, I couldn't go back to the normal ones. Today I am doing a try on haul and review of the Curvy line. Obviously I didn't buy every single jean that they have, but I got five of them. Um, so I feel like that's a pretty good representation. Um, I actually don't think I have any of the Curvy jeans. I just have the Curvy mom jeans. So those fit a little bit different. That noise in the background is Alpha eating his yak chew. So we're just gonna have to ignore that. The thing that I wanna mention with sizing is that you need to size down at least one size. I'm normally a size six or eight in the normal American Eagle jeans. And when I got the mom jeans, I sized down to a six. And with all of these, I bought them in four. And I think the darker wash run a bit smaller. With the lighter ones, I honestly might need to get a two. But that also leaves me to be really confused. Like, what do the skinny people wear? Like, I don't know. I don't know how small sizes go. I feel like they only go to like zero, zero. So if you're like more than two sizes smaller than me, there might not be anything that fits you. I don't know. They really need to um, work on that because I am definitely not that skinny. Okay, the first pair of jeans that I tried on were these called oh these are the lux jean the curvy high-rise jeggings in bright star i really like this color and i actually got these in a long because they have kind of a weird trim that i'm not the biggest fan of on the back but not on the front so i was planning on just trimming it all off but i think that i should have sized down an extra size in these um Again, these are all size four, but I think a two would have fit better because it was slightly loose in the top areas and then also pretty loose as you can see on my calves, which goes for most of these. But yeah, other than that, I think they seem really comfortable. Are they worth the luxe price? Uh, the other ones were very comparable. <laughs> The second pair I got were these darker luxe jeans, the curvy super high rise jeggings. Again, really comfortable. Um, I think they might have ran a little bit smaller. I'm not sure if that's a thing with dark washes or if I'm just making it up, but they fit a little bit better. But again, is the price tag of the luxe actually worth it? Um, I don't really think so. Also, these are in the color Indigo Abyss. Yeah, I am not sure if I would really recommend these. I mean, I would, but I don't think I'd really recommend these if you're worried about pricing. The regular Kirby jeans and jeggings are just like, you know, pretty much the same. Okay, the third pair. You can actually tell these feel a little bit more jean-like, but also I like that. This is the next level stretch curvy super high rise jegging honestly i feel like all these they felt like the same rise except for the last pair this is in the color dreamy indigo again i feel like it ran a little smaller so it fit a little bit better these were one of the cheaper ones and i think it's super comparable to the okay it doesn't look as dark on the camera because it's really bright but it is kind of a darker wash. But yeah, I think this is perfectly comparable, $50 compared to the $79. Um, yeah, I would definitely go for these. Okay, the second to last ones that I got were, they're kind of funky because I tried them all on. Kirby High Rise Jeggings, the next level stretch in the color Dark Atlantic. These are also a darker wash, run a little smaller. Um, pretty comparable to the last pair I tried on, honestly. They fit really similarly. I would recommend these two. Um, don't size down too much in the darker washes. The last pair of jeans that I got were these Next Level Stretch 
curvy highest rise jeggings in the color Starburst Blue. These are my absolute favorite just because they're super high rise. Again, all the other high rises felt like they rose the same amount, but this one <clears throat> went like above my belly button, like to my actual waist, which is nice when wearing cropped stuff and you don't want your, I mean, now that it's winter, like if you wear a cropped sweater, you don't want your stomach getting cold. Yeah, I am actually going to see if I can try these on in a two because they were a little tiny bit big, um, but I'm afraid a two might be too small. So I can update the description on what size I ended up going with with these. But yeah, I'm going to go to the store today and hopefully try these on in a two to see if that works better. Otherwise, I will be keeping these. They are really comfortable and I feel like it's hard to find like a super high rise jean that's comfortable and actually fits good also these are one of the cheaper ones they're 49.95 um also there's always sales running so never pay full price for the jeans otherwise it's a scam so yeah i will be linking all of these jeans down in the same order in the description for you guys and also don't forget that american eagle does student discounts right now it's 20 percent off so definitely check that out i always wait until there's a sale and then I, what do you call it? Oh, hello, buddy. Um, yeah, I always wait until there's like a store-wide sale and then I stack my 20% student discount. So I got these for like 20 or $30. Um, I'm not sure there was a really good like 40% off jeans discount. Um, but yeah, I will link these all down in the description. Don't forget to use my link for that um, commission. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you've ever tried the curvy line, what you think of it, hello. Thanks for watching, bye guys. Why do I live in a zoo?